Good morning. We got a lot of people on this call. I'm just going to give it one more minute and we're going to go ahead and get started here. Looking forward to it. Just a few more seconds here, we'll get started here. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon, depending on where you are in the country. My name is Josh Elohim. I'll be your speaker for today. So regarding addressing the LTC tsunami that's coming. So truly, there's some big issues with long term care. And I want to kind of get it out right now and give you guys and gals some options to be able to take care of. So some quick housekeeping here for the purpose of this call. Everyone's going to be muted so we can get through this smoothly. If you have questions, please put them in the questions there. I promise I will go through everything towards the end and we'll go through questions as many as you want there. So ask your questions and then we're gonna have some fun here. So let's go ahead and get started here. Long-term care was incredible back in the day. I mean, it was extremely inexpensive. It was, it was, can everyone hear me there? Looks like my my mic is on, so. uh, can you guys hear me if you're on? If you could just respond real quickly if you can hear me. Yep, okay, I just wanna make sure. Okay, you can hear me. Perfect, thank you so much. So long-term care, back in the day, incredible product. It was really inexpensive. It was built in inflation for life. Everyone's happy. Uh, things were great. What's the problem? The problem is, is that about 10 years ago, we started having all these claims of people having to use their long-term care. So what we've seen is before we had 25 plus companies offering traditional standalone long-term care, now we have two or three. These carriers have ran full speed from long-term care. Two or three options. When I'm talking about, I'm talking about traditional long-term care. What I mean by that is standalone by itself long-term care. So, What's so that's the problem. The problem was this was really it was priced well, it was built in inflation riders. And now, what's the issue now? If you want to get a traditional plan, it's extremely expensive. The, the second thing is, is that the price is not even locked in. People on this call here may or may not know, but Genworth just had a price increase. I get emails almost weekly on people who whose clients have, have had this Genworth increase. Mass Mutual had a, a 75% a price increase a year or two back. So it's really challenging now for long-term care. So the third thing though with traditional long-term care, which is the biggest problem, is it's use it or lose it. You can pay premiums for 20, 30 years and never have an issue. And guess what? All your money is gone. So I'm gonna jump in here to the software very quickly. I'm just gonna, hopefully you've all seen this before. This is not new for you. If it is, you can go into the chat box and there's a place we can sign up for an account. Hopefully you all have one already though. So I'll just pick up myself. We'll do, put some health in here, smoker status, height, weight. And I will, you know, I'll keep the same year for the date of birth here. So I'm gonna go to lifetime coverage, but I wanna pause for one second before I dive into this here. And what I want to do is I want to give you all a visual. 
Here's a marketing piece for this. This is a great piece. We, uh, we borrowed this from a few different carriers and kind of put it into one really nice piece here. So what do we, instead of calling it long-term care, why don't we call it living benefits? That's the newest thing. If you wanna write something down, write this down. Um, do you have the old type of insurance or the new kind? You can ask your client that. And it makes them say, what do you mean the old type of new time? Well, the old kind is geared towards a death benefit. That's called term insurance, right? The new kind is what can I get while I'm still alive? That's a great line that I've, I've helped agents in, to use for their clients. It works very well. So have a look at this marketing piece here. Discover the living benefits from long-term care riders. Uh, you, you might think that long-term care is unnecessary. Well, you might want to think again. Look at the chance of being in a fire, one in 1,200. Chance of being in an auto accident, one in 240. Look at the chance to need long-term care, one in two. Now, the thing is, why you, you wouldn't go without auto or home insurance. Why are we considering going without the long-term care insurance? The biggest stagger here is look at the cost of long-term care. In 2013, how about $75,000 a year. Look at 2048 when I might potentially need this. It's gonna be almost a half a million dollars to pay for long-term care. Hence the addressing the LTC tsunami. There's a wave coming right now and a lot of people are not prepared for this. Let me ask you a question. How many baby boomers are retiring every single day right now? I'll wait. So the answer is about 10,000 a day. You could be busy from this one concept for the next 10 years easily and not talk about anything else to your clients. That's how big of a need is coming for this long-term care here. So the solution, the, the carriers finally got smart and they created something called a long-term care rider that adds on to the policy. Let's keep this very simple. Whatever my death benefit is, a million dollars, right? I add the long-term care rider, it simply gives me a pool of money of a million dollars for long-term care. If there's a long-term care issue, it draws down from the death benefit dollar for dollar. Let's just say one year I had an issue, I took out $100,000 of my policy, my new death benefit is $900,000. This is just like traditional long-term care. What I mean by that is to get the money, you have to have two of the six ADLs, the activities of daily living, I can't feed myself, I can't bathe myself, you have a 90-day elimination period, and you can accelerate that death benefit dollar for dollar. So have a look at this, how it works. I add the rider, it gives me that pool of money for long-term care, I can take it out dollar for dollar, I can take out the entire death benefit if I needed to, any long-term care proceeds are gonna be tax-free, and anything else remaining will go to the beneficiaries tax-free. So here's the most important thing though, no matter what happens here, my benefit's going to be used whether it's for living benefits, the pool of money for long-term care. I could even have some cash growing in the policy as well. So I can use that's another living benefit. The third bell and whistle is a death benefit. Then there's a case study about Mary who's 55, who had some long-term, her parents had some major long-term care issues. It was a problem for her brothers and sisters. She didn't want to be a burden on her, you know, on her kids. So she took out a $500,000 policy out of the rider. Now her kids are taking, that she's taking care of. And if they don't use it, the kids are taken care of as well. So there you go. That's a really cool marketing piece. One more piece that we, Josh, I'm not familiar with how these riders work. Uh, I don't, you know, what's the difference between a, a long-term care rider and critical and chronic illness? What carriers offer what? John Hancock, a couple years back, put together a great piece, and it's called Dare to Compare. So what they've done is they've actually stacked up, let me zoom in here, all the companies. You know, is it a long-term care rider? Is it critical? Is it chronic illness? What does critical and chronic illness even mean? And if you look here, so it, they're, they're, they have a true long-term care rider. Does everyone see that? It says long-term care there. Other companies might have an accelerated benefit. It's not, it's, it's not long-term care. See it right here? And I can see all different companies. Is it reimbursement versus indemnity? How's the benefit charge? And so it goes through a bunch of, how, does, how do you qualify for this? But the most important part, bottom, look how much is going to cost me additionally for this rider. And look, at there's every single carrier on it. This is a really cool piece. If you're serious about this, I would take the time and learn. It's not that much. And you can see there's only really four companies that have a true long-term care rider. So John Hancock is one of them. AXA has a long-term care rider. You see it right here. 
And if I scroll down, we also have a Nationwide has a long-term care rider, and then Minnesota Life or Security and Life Now has. So those are the four companies: John Hancock, Nationwide. Um, we have Securian or Minnesota Life and AXA. Those are the four companies that have a long-term care rider, okay? So again, those are two marketing pieces. I'd highly recommend diving into these. Um, I've attached those in the handout, so you can just grab those. If you still need those, just reach out and I will email those marketing pieces to you, okay? This is the first one. You could just send this out to all your current future clients. That's a great way. There's also a marketing piece in the BOSS system on long-term care as well. Those are two options of how to market, quote, and apply. So let's dive into here. I'm gonna get rid of this. So now we're back to our technology, okay? This is great, Josh. My client needs long-term care. What's next? Um, I'm the agent, you're the client. I could just jump into here and we could jump on a quick Zoom meeting. I just got off a call with helping an agent and their client talking about IUL, cash value policies. So if you're not comfortable talking, having these strategies and having these conversations, use me. Don't use me for term insurance, right? But for the more advanced stuff, I'm here to help you. And I've been sitting on the back burner too long, so I'm really ready to go here and I'm fired up to help you and your clients out. You're all smart though. You hear this one or two or three times, you're hitting the ground running full speed and you're off and running, okay? Just a heads up. So when I go to, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to lifetime coverage, right? If I wanna do long-term care rider, there's two options I have to pick. Either it's gonna be universal life, or I'm gonna pick protection IUL, one or the other, okay? If I wanna do a little bit less cash, more death benefit, that's what universal life is for. Let's say I wanna have some, some good cash in there as well, I just click on protection IUL. So right now it's running that permanent illustration. It's gonna pull up here in a second, right? So it's, it's, it's calculating the, the, death, the death benefit and the cash value, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do is this is very simple. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna say with LTC rider. Does everyone see that? So I click on the button, I just added the rider, it's that easy. I can get up to 4% of my death benefits. So up to $40,000 a month to pay for long-term care. Well, now you say that, is that, that sounds like too much money. Well, after the, we just saw the, the marketing pieces, right? Is that really too much money for someone in their 40s or 50s? That, that's what it's gonna cost a year to pay for long-term care down the road there. So again, I'm getting 4% of a, of a million dollars. Well, this is great, Josh, but I don't wanna pay this forever in my 70s, 80s or any other options. I'm glad you asked that. I click on lifetime coverage, I can scroll down, I can pay to age 65. My favorite is a 10 pay. So I click on a 10 pay. Now all I do is go to the bottom and hit rerun quotes. Never in the history of our business have you, the agent, been able to pivot so quickly right in front of your client. Does everyone see how fast that was? There it is. And if you look here, if I hit more details, I just added the long-term care writer. Does everyone see that right there? There's a pretty cool cost analysis if I wanna click here and go through to see what the cost is per state and you can add inflation there as well. That's a really cool marketing piece. So let's just let's, let's close that up here. All right, so there's my option. I got my monthly premium for my 10 pay. I got, uh, you know, what's my rating? How long is this gonna take? So I can click on this PDF button and I can actually pull up the illustration. The, the, the meeting I just did with an agent and her client, they were blown away. That It took me, four or five months of going back and forth with the agent because I kept on asking for changes. In 45 minutes of talking to this client, we did four months of work for him. He goes, I can't believe I wasted so much time with this other agent. This is the future what you're looking into right now. People, if you don't have to make it take five, six, seven, ten 10 meetings to close, people will buy off one or two meetings here because I can just answer all their questions. It's extremely simple to be able to work with here. Let's say this is great, Josh. I, I want to change my number. So everyone see I just pulled up the illustration, right? So in the past, you had to wait for this, right? I like this, you know, a million dollars might be too steep. What does 500 look like? So what you've done in the past and says, hey, it's going to be around half. They still want to see the illustration. You're like, why me, God? Well, now I just put in 500,000. I go to the bottom. I hit the rerun button. Have you ever been able to pivot so quickly in your life as an agent or as a client? So it's just gonna, it's just gonna, is everyone say I just chopped that in half? Now, let me click on here. Let's go inside and look at the meat and potatoes here. I can dive into this right in front of the client. 
how about a little snapshot of what's going on here, right? So this third page here shows me we got a male 44. I know you might say this seems a little bit young. People are buying this now. Hopefully people on the call have heard about the, the law that came out in Washington. This is absolute pandemonium. Washington, the state of Washington made it mandatory for people to have long-term care insurance, some type of coverage, almost like other states did with health insurance. So it's been crazy over there. So people are buying, looking at long-term care in their 30s and 40s now. And I'll show you here why it makes sense in a second. So we got a male 44, preferred, uh, preferred non-smoker. Here's my monthly premium. So we're doing a year, we're doing a 10 pay of 13,000, almost 14,000 a year. There's my million dollar pool of money for long-term care slash death benefit, right? And then look at, here's my 4% or up to $40,000 a month to pay for long-term care. And here's what it covers. Would you agree that people wanna get taken care of in their home, right? They don't wanna to have to go anywhere else. Well, that's what they get with these policies. So in a nutshell, that's really a snapshot of what's going on. If I want, I can also dive down to the, the old meat and potatoes here. And I'm gonna to explain to you why this is good for a 40 year old as well, and even a 30 year old, if they can do it. So here we go. Some of the bells and whistles here. Again, we have a male preferred 44. There's our monthly premium. There's our annual premium. And we're paying this for 10 years. I'm not saying that pay this for the rest of your life, People can see pain during their income earning years, right? That's important for them to see that. So there you go, I'm paying, I'm doing a 10 pay here. So again, I have my million dollar pool of money for long-term care, which is why we're having this conversation, right? That's the most important thing. And I also have a death benefit, God forbid, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm here, I, I leave too soon. But then I also have some cash value growing in the policy. Those are my three bells and whistles. Now let me show you why this, is, this works for a younger person. You see, in this situation, I put in a, almost 140 grand, right? Over 10 years. Well, this is an IUL, so this is growing in the market. This is creating non-reportable tax-free income as well. So if I scroll down here, I put in 140,000. Look at this person's retirement age. How much money do I have in my policy? 140 grand, right? So I would never ever say the word free insurance, but what you're putting into this, look it, you have the money as a, as a client right here to use for your retirement income. Now, obviously, you know, long-term care could potentially happen later, right? So I, I agree upon that. But the thing is you have your pool of money for death benefit, but look, your cash keeps growing. So if you don't wanna to touch that money, it's just gonna get better and better and better. And if you never touch it, you have your million dollar death benefit going to your beneficiaries. So let's, let's recalculate here the three problems. When I look at this new type of insurance, the first issue was the cost, right? It's really expensive for traditional long-term care. Well, look at the younger you are, the cheaper this is gonna be. I'm gonna buy this on a 10 pay basis. So it's during my income earning year. So I can see 10 years down the road. So I pay for this earlier. So there you go. The second thing is that in, in traditional long-term care, you're not locked in. If the, the carrier can go to the state and get an approval and increase your premiums, they'll say, hey, we had a loss and we're having too many claims here. So look at and this is a life insurance chassis. As long as you pay your premium, they're not gonna raise the price on you. The third thing again, which is the most important thing, is that the use it or lose the situation. Well here, no matter what happens, you're going to benefit, whether it's to pool the money for long-term care, whether it's using this for your retirement income, right, to fund that, or transferring to your beneficiaries tax three, tax free. So no matter what happens here, the benefit will be used. That's extremely important. And those are the three bells and whistles. And that's why we're having this conversation. Why are we seeing this with younger people? Because of what I just showed you. The people are hearing about long-term care that through their parents, through their grandparents, you know, uncles, aunts, they're hearing about this no faster way to drain someone's bank account than to have a long-term care issue. So for me, I wanna make sure that everyone I talk to, all the agents I work with, they're all prepared for this and they're preparing their clients for this. You never want someone coming back to you saying, hey, Mr. Smith, you never told me about this long-term care issue and that we could take care of this so simply. Extremely easy here. So in a nutshell, that's how this looks here. For my financial planners on the call, you may have some clients who have some chunky money, right? You know where the money is. So what you could do here is you could do what's called using a PDA account. So let's just say this number was 100K to keep it very simple. 
So you want to dump in $100,000 into this plan. You don't want to pay it off monthly. You don't want to pay it off annually. You don't want to even do a 10 pay. You want to do a one pay. Well, in the past, this is going to mech the policy, right? So it's a big no-no with life insurance because then I'll have to pay taxes on the first dollar that comes out. Well, what this carrier has, and several of them have, they call the PDA account. It's a premium deposit account. So what that means is you can dump in your $100,000 one time. The carrier will hold on to the money. They'll pay you one, two, two and a half percent, depending on the company, right? So your client's getting much more here than they would in, in a bank account, right? They're not earning anything there. So they pay them that one, two or two, two percent. And then they'll put that in over, over a 10 pay. So every year they'll put in $10,000 a year, $10,000 a year. So they'll do a 10 pay and that way the policy never max. That's a way to put money into these things right away without having to, you know, dumping it in one time for people who have the chunky money who want to deal with this right away. Now, obviously, on a 65-year-old, the number is going to be different, right? The reason this works for the cash that you put into the policy and the reason you have that time, that, that growth, is because of time. You know, a 44-year-old still has, you know, 20-plus years of marination, right? 21 years of marination here for the money to grow. That's why this looks good for younger people now. And that's why we have to start having the conversation for younger people. Now, listen, if the client, my favorite client is older, wealthy, and unhealthy. Those are, uh, that's probably the best option possible. But if you take out wealthy out of that situation, now you're in trouble. Now you have old and unhealthy. So ideally, you want to start having these conversations with your clients as soon as possible. It's very simple. It's very easy. If you're not comfortable having this conversation, that's what I'm here for. You can go into my calendar. You can book a meeting right from any of my emails. You can go into the boss system. You can book a meeting, a meeting with me. I will walk through this with you and your client. I promise you I'm not pitch pushy. This is my pitch here. I just go, to, I just go through the facts and I just educate people. And they normally like this nine times out of 10. And then they say, what about this? What about that? Uh, what about nationwide? You see, I can pivot so easily, so quickly. This is great, Josh, but uh, what about 750? Now that I've done some numbers here, right? What does 750 look like? So I literally just type in 750. I don't want to pay this annually, a monthly. I actually want to pay it annually. Well, there you go. I hit the rerun button. Five or six meetings in the past to have potentially have no sale. How about one or two meetings now and just be done with it? A really easy thing that I do to help the client out is I say, listen, you don't have to figure out the exact dollar amount of what you want to pay for this right now. What you want to do is you just want to, you want to apply for the most you possibly would want. So let's say the client comes back to you and says, hey, I think a million dollars would be my max. And I'll explain to you in a second. So I have them do this to take out the thinking and the guesswork of having, having to make a decision on how much they want to pay right now. Here's how I recommend it. What you want to do is apply for the most you think you might want absolute most and then what you can do is you can always once we still have to go through underwriting so in this situation nationwide wants to date you as well meaning an application and an exam so the only thing you're saying yes to right now is an application and an exam that's it once it'll, it'll probably take a month or two full transparency to be able to you know get your numbers back get your offer back at that point, we can always lower the premium to fit your budget. So you have time to think about this. Does that make sense, everybody? That's the easiest way to help someone feel comfortable to move forward here. Now, I always joke around here, like life with long-term care is, is, is a 60, 70 page paper application. That's a huge app. So in the past, you pulled this bad boy out, your client has a heart attack and dies on the spot, there goes your case. Well, now, does everyone see this continue button right here? So I hit continue, I can go right into the application. It's that simple. So clients absolutely love this in terms of the experience, that they can do this right on the spot. If there are any red tool users on the phone, you can actually adopt, you can auto fill up to 50% of this if you're using red tail. So let me just go through this very quickly. Hopefully everyone on the call has seen what, we're, what I'm doing here. Is this person employed? We work with a lot of older people. If they're not, just tell us, maybe they're, they're retired. Let's say they are, uh, let's just say back nine, we'll do sales. I put my company address, just 310, auto populates. This is also a great time for the client to ask you questions while you're doing this. Will this person own a policy? A lot of our stuff is owned in trust or business, so it could be either or. 
just to make it easy, I'll say yes, it will be owned by this person. Who's going to be the beneficiary? Same thing, a trust, a business, or an individual. Let's just say Mrs. Doe. We'll say this is the wife. I go next. I can add a contingent beneficiary to back up the primary. At this point, income, assets, liabilities, put in a social state. You can see I've done this a few times, right? Just a few. If this person has an existing life insurance, I would add the policy right here. Let's just say no for now to keep it moving. I'm sure you've all seen this, but I can actually pull medical records right here on the spot. Agents, clients love this software. I pull, I pick my medical facility. I hit using, I put the username and password in. I'm able to pull those medical records instantaneously right on the spot. I could also just say no. I could send a text message or an email or just say no, and we're almost finished here. If I didn't put that height weight in the beginning, I have to put it in now, answer a few medical questions. I can basically set up my routing number, account number, if I want to pay for this on the spot. I just got the text, by the way, for the medical records, or just skip it. Hopefully, you've all used this feature where we have a built-in calendar from exam one based on whatever zip code you're putting across the country of live times to book your exam. I picked my date. I picked my time. Just booked the exam. It was that simple. So I can sign via email or I can sign now. So, or the client's doing this 100% by themselves, they would also hit sign now. Or we get past this pandemic and you can meet your clients face to face. Uh, they would also hit sign now in that situation. So, all the information is auto populated in the DocuSign. Bada boom, bada bing, a fully completed 60, 70 page paper application. Sorry it took so long. I can't shake this New York sarcasm no matter what I do. So I'm sure you all know how this works. I basically adopt my signature here and I just put point and click and I'm off to the races. This is life with long-term care writer. That might be a personal best right there for a record. <laughs> Welcome to the future where life insurance is heading. That was probably, a, I'd say a 10 to $15,000 target premium case. Look how fast that was. There is a marketing piece in the boss I want to show you. You can go to marketing if you want to market uh, long-term care. I go to my templates. Does everyone see it right here? Long-term care writers. There's my campaign. So I've given you a marketing piece. Here's the campaign if you want to drop in some emails. I have two options. So that, look, there's my LTC campaign. When you click on here, it goes to your link. It'll be your picture, your information. Option number one, I can plug in up to 100 emails. I can copy it from Outlook, right? So I plug in my emails, hit the, I just sent out 100 emails for that campaign. Option number two, I already have my own email service and I want to basically uh, you know, use my own service. I, don't, I have thousands of emails in there. I can still use this campaign. I just hit HTML and I hit copy and I just paste that into my own email service. And then I can set up a drip campaign, have it go out once a month, once a week, whatever you want there. That's two different options of how to market quote and apply. I sent you the two marketing pieces here. If you need this, just put it in the chat box. I'll send it to you personally, but it also is in the hand, it's in the handouts as well. So there you go. All right, that's what I have. I like to keep these around 30 minutes. So I do wanna hear from you though. I really appreciate everyone getting on board. This has been a passion of mine for a long time. Hopefully you can hear it in my voice. People need help and they need you to educate them on what's coming here. Now listen, it's not your job to sell anything. You just have to spread the good news so they never come back to you and say, hey, you never told me about this, Josh. No, actually I did. And I also recommend having you put this in, have, have a letter drafted up that you put in writing that you make them sign that releases you for your fiduciary responsibility, right? Perfect. All right, there's a bunch of questions here already. Thank you guys and gals so much for getting on the call. Please ask your questions. I wanna see some long-term care cases come in here in this next week. So let me know what I have to do to help out. And um, I do have a baby due on Friday. So thank you for all your wishes, your prayers. So I'll be out for about a week, but uh, my sister who's on the call is gonna be taking over for a week to help me out a little bit here. So um, num baby number five. So uh, yeah, this is really happening. I, I, I don't know how this happened, but it's happening. So uh, thank you all again for being on the call. Truly appreciate uh, you listening in. Um, if last thing, I, 
book a meeting with me. If you're not comfortable having this conversation, get me on the call with you. Uh, book it and just let me know it's about long-term care for Mrs. Smith. I'll get on the call with you. I'll go through this presentation with you. I have about a 95% close ratio, just so you know, because I don't sell anything. I just spread the good news. So again, thank you so much. Ask your questions. We'll give it a second here. Everyone have a blessed day. So someone said, uh, what do you recommend for someone who already has a million dollar term policy trying to uh, figure out you know, what to buy or if they should cancel their current policy? Who is the best candidate for this? Someone who already has a policy of a million dollars and also someone who has a, a traditional long-term care plan. That's your best because they're paying a, a good amount of money, especially for the long-term care. If they have term, that's pretty cheap. But if they have a permanent policy and they have long-term care rider, a long-term care insurance, traditional, that's a really good option for people because now we can do the math and, and combine these together and see how we can, it could, even if it's the same price, you're still giving them so much more benefit, which is what we, those living benefits, right? So even, so that's a good option. Good question there about who, you know, who's the best client for this. If they already have, if they, if they already have life insurance, a permanent plan, and they also have traditional long-term care. Because again, they could pay for another 10, 20 years and never have a long-term care issue. All their money is gone. So that's a great question there. Other questions? If you need the, I, I, I put it in the, in the uh, handouts, but if you need that, the, uh, the marketing pieces, just uh, let me know. Put it in the chat and we'll get those marketing pieces to you, okay? Any other questions? Any, anything else I can help out with? So someone else is, is LTC transferable? Um, and the answer is no. What I'm showing you here is individual policies. These are the cream of the crop though. So these are the best policies for a client. So if you said, hey, I have someone that's healthy. Now listen, if they're not healthy, underwriting can be a challenge. You're writing for life insurance and you're also underwriting for long-term care. So you're doing for both. So again, I'm not going to beat her on the bush. This is definitely full underwriting for these clients. If they're healthy, though, this is the best option possible for them. That's a good question. So what else here? Just so you guys know, here's here's my contact information. So if you have, if you want to see my, so this is me right here. Here's my phone number, and here's my email. So if you want to jot that down, so you can reach out to me for questions. I want to hear, hey, I want to set up a call with one of my clients. That's what I want to hear. That's where I shine the best. Let me get on the phone here. Let me let me do what I do best. Uh, I'm a I'm a wild animal who's been who's been in a zoo for a long time. So I'm ready to be unleashed here and help people. That's the goal. So one question that came in: What's the difference with the IUL versus the universal life approach? That's a great question there. So let's go. So let's go back. Oh, actually, I, I closed it out. So universal life is if you say, hey, I, I don't care as much about the cash. I really want to have. It's more death benefit focus, not as much cash. The the protection IUL gives you that S&P 500 cap and floor. So really, the, to make it easy, Universal Life has really two bells and whistles. It has the pool of money for long-term care, and really it just has a death benefit with a little bit of cash. The protection IUL option is the pool of money for long-term care. I have that cash value growing, so creating non-reportable tax-free income, and then it also has a death benefit. So that's really three bells and whistles that you get and that's what I showed you with John Hancock. If you want to just have the guarantees, then you can go with Nationwide. They have, they're really known for, they're more expensive because you're paying for those guarantees, but you have the pool of money for long-term care, and you also have the, you can have a guaranteed death benefit. So there's no guaranteed versus non-guaranteed story there. 
These are great questions. Any other questions? Let's go back here to my number. All the marketing pieces will be sent out. Book a meeting on my calendar for this week. I am out next week uh, with a baby, but if you book a meeting this week, I can do uh, the marketing. If not, the week after, uh, I'm, I'm back in the office. Listen, I greatly appreciate all of you. I appreciate you staying on the call the whole time. And I think this is a, if you have this, if you have questions, call me, get me on the phone here. Let me do what I do best. Okay. Thank you all so much for your time and have a blessed day.